In this video, I'll be showing you how I personally make jobs in GTA Online that I use for job warping around the map to make every mission that much faster. There is a very simple and quick way of doing this and I'll explain how you can do it too. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here is a list of previous jobs I've created for job warping. I have one for each arcade I use, I have one for my auto shop and I have loads of others for the Keo Perico preps. I use these very often if I need to get around the map quickly. So the first thing you need to do is to create a job. To do this you need to go into the pause menu, online and down to Rockstar Creator. The fastest jobs to make are capture jobs, so select create a capture and then contend. Now you want to give it a name and a description. Then change the number of players to 2 and the number of teams to 2. For team details, you just want to change the target score to 1 point for both teams. Then just make sure that first to win is set to 1 round. Now go back out and go to placement. This is where you'll place the trigger and therefore the job warping location. Now you need to take a lobby photo. When it comes to star points, just put team 0 and team 1 as close together as the game will allow. Then just put the team capture point on top of the opposing team start locations. Now select the default capture object and put it in between both locations as close as possible. Once you've taken your last photo in capture details, you can go ahead and test it. Once both teams have been tested, save the job and then publish. If you have put it in an acceptable location, you will be able to locate it on your map. Obviously, you need to make sure that the style of job is visible on your map. To do this, go to your interactions menu, then map blip options, jobs, and then have the style of job set to show. You can filter these out to only show the jobs you want by hiding all of the others. The most important part is obviously where you place the trigger for the job. For the 8-bit arcade for example, I can place it right outside the garage entrance, meaning I'm able to go straight into my garage from here. This is a big money With the video getting location, I searched many areas around here, but some places on the map will not have the job show up. I finally got it to work by placing the trigger on top of the arcade. Once you have made one of these jobs, you are now able to create a copied template. To do this, go to load creation, then find the job you want to copy. Now press triangle on PlayStation or whatever the copy button is on your system. This will create a duplicate of that job. Now back out and go to saved. You will now find that the copy job is saved here. Once you open that job up, you can then go and move your place trigger icon to somewhere else you'd like to create a job warp. Now place your trigger, then change the lobby camera. And then change your photo in capture details, as well as the name. Back out and then go to test. Complete the test and then publish your job. 
there are certain locations where jobs will not appear on your map, like at the Zancudo military base for example. If you find your job not showing up on the map, simply go back into the job and change its trigger location until it does show up. Go back into a free mode lobby to see if it appears. You can now copy and edit this template as much as you want and place your job warping triggers around the map. If you're not sure how to job warp, I have made a separate video on exactly how to do that, so click the link in the top right corner or use the link I'll leave in the description. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.